Jeez. Life of a hustler. Yo. Every day I'm on the hustle like that's all I know. A nine to five or out the streets long as I'm touching dope. Ain't in a robin full of pride. We on it again, man. Hey, hey you can be anywhere, but you right here with us, man, and we want to thank you. Again, I'm Sean P. Brother Sean. They call me stone in the street. Stone means steady taking out negative energy, speaking truth or nothing else, man. But anyway, man, we back and I'm on a solo tip this time, man. And, uh, you know, I was riding. Well, actually, I wasn't riding. I was chopping it up with my man, uh, Eric. He's a great writer, great author. Uh, got a book out now. Uh, it's a 90-day book where you get a new word every day. We're going to bring him on, have him on to share on this uh, book. That helps you build your vocabulary, character, and so on and so forth. But anyway, we was chopping it up, man, about uh, our children, what they know, what they don't know, what they need to know, and so on and so forth. And uh, anyway, he brought up something, man, and I just shot it out to him. And I say, man, it's easier to whine than win. So that's what we're going to talk about today. It's easier to whine than win, you know. And... Uh, I saw this acronym one time about WIN, W-I-N. An acronym in the frame said, what's important now? And, uh, and on the way here, remember last time when uh, we had Scuba here, talking about Scuba Farms, uh, we were talking about working and, and 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 willingness and we talked about a whole bunch of things so make sure you go back and check that episode out but anyway man it's, it's easier to whine than win and on the way over here i thought about this time where myself was whining and this is about 14 years ago i had saw this uh brother uh he was he's well known he's in the penitentiary now but at the time he was he was well known throughout the streets he was a uh uh what some of that shit y'all use out there? Reptable. Uh, he was reptable. And I saw him one day in Ontario, and it's raining. And he's in this Super Duty 350 jacked up, and it seemed like the clouds parted because his damn truck was so clean in the rain. And me, myself, I go home and whine by myself. And I'm asking God, how the hell do he do what he doing while I'm sitting here trying to live right and do it by the book, but yet I ain't got no Super Duty 350. In the spirit, remember, last episode we was talking about something, that something that's in me, that's in you. He came by and say, Sean, that's my business. Whatever he doing, he doing it. You sitting on the couch talking to me. <laughs> ah, it's easier to whine and blame somebody for where you or not, right? It's easier to whine about what your parents should have did, what the school should have did, what the government should do, what the insurance company should do. Whine, 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 right? Instead of winning. But how do I get to winning? The first thing to do is to take complete and utter responsibility for yourself. No matter what cards you was dealt, no matter whether your parents is in your life or not, if they are not, no matter how that came about, meaning no matter how they got out of your life, whether it was just abandonment, death, or whatever the hell, whether you dropped out of school or got a damn degree or whatever, right? Right? The thing is, is to take responsibility for yourself. Now, let me make something clear. When you take responsibility, that don't mean you take the blame. But once I learned to take responsibility for me, the color of life came on. Kind of colorful like I am now, baby. Huh? So that was the beginning of me starting to win at this thing called life. Once I took responsibility, I was able to start dictating to life versus life dictating to me. Right. Because I have some people in my life that uh, in, in my family, immediate family. Right. Let me reiterate that. 
because if you ain't on the loop, you ain't immediate, right? So got members of my family that have wine, or as my dad say, the motherfuckers been on vacation all their life. <laughs> You know, and always looking for the party and always, you know, waiting for somebody to do something for them. Right. So life dictates them, puts them in places that they don't necessarily want to live. But that's the only place they can live because they never took responsibility and said, all right, God damn it. This is where I'm at right here. And this is where I want to go. So if you was to take responsibility for yourself. And you're interested in winning. If you ask yourself that as soon as you finish watching this in prayer, your own self going to tell you what it's going to take to get here. Now, once that happens, it comes to the point of, am I willing? Am I willing? These W's, you know, whining, winning, willingness, right? Because a lot of people are not willing to do what it take to win. That's why it's easier to whine. Bitch, moan, and complain. Huh? Because I'm going to tell you something about these winners. Now, look. Look here. I'm one of the only black men you ever going to meet that don't play football, basketball, or baseball. I'm suburban. Ride motorcycle, snowboard, do all that old other shit that people that look like me ain't supposed to be doing. But anyway, some people are not willing to do what it take to win. Well, Sean, elaborate on that. I'm so glad you asked. Do you know that the, the want to do something satisfies most people? The want to get in shape, right, will satisfy some people. So when you say, all right, well, this is what you got to do to get in shape. Here you go. You got to hit the gym in the morning, go to work, boom, boom, hit the gym at night. Well, nah, I ain't going to do that. Now, nah, see, they want me to do, they want me to, nah, I'll do everything, but that's that wine and shit. Now, as I was saying, I'm not an athlete, but I love sports. Boxing, favorite sport, right? After that is basketball, so on and so forth. Before I came here earlier this morning, I was watching the French Open because I like what it takes for that athlete whether male or female, to stay in shape to be the champion. It's a great movie with Shia LaBeouf called The Greatest Game Ever Played. And there's this one clip that I watch it for, this one moment in that movie where the narrator says, it's two type of players in this world. The ones that control their nerves and win championships and the ones that don't, right? So when I'm looking at these athletes and what they go through to be at a high level, say what you want about Floyd Mayweather. You ever heard him whining? Have you ever heard the man whining? Exactly. Stop me when I say something wrong. Okay? So what this brother goes through to stay in shape, to stay ready, the eating regimen, the amounts of water that it takes, you, you know? Come on, man. You don't hear that man whining, but he winning. Huh? And he lets you know, right? What LeBron goes through, and I'm only bringing up these big names because they're the, they the most that's in your face right now. But what about that regular cat? Hmm? That one in, in your crew that left the crew early, but he ain't never asked nobody for nothing. He ain't never borrowed nothing. He ain't never bought no drama to your door, right? But he always on top, or she is always on top, right? You don't hear them whining. But what about them suckers you hanging with? Hmm? When y'all get together at the bar or y'all need to relax on the weekend. Something else I learned. Weekends are for weak people. The champions and the winners make the weekend on any day of the week. Huh? I know a couple. I'm one. I'm the winner. And look, check this out. I'm going to show you how you're a winner. And hopefully I could uh, end a lot of that whining that you got going on. At one point, when your mom and dad, whether you know them or not, met them or not, they in your life or not, we're going to deal with the facts. Mom and dad came together, two came together to make one. When you and your mom and dad was doing the do, and your dad ejaculated into your mom, 
you knew where to go, knew what to do. And you was the winner out of everybody else that wanted to be you. Hmm? Think about that. You the one that God said, you come out of the darkness into the light. Out of the womb into the light. So you already the winner. Huh? But you got whack-ass uncles, whack-ass aunts, horrible school teachers, and you got all of this stuff that begins to put labels and shit on you. And then you start to buy it. And then now next thing you know, you're whining when you want to win. And then you meet somebody like me, say, hey, yo, this is how you win. Let's do such and such, such and such. And then you're not willing. Hence, no winning. So remember, it's easier to whine than win. And we're going to talk some more about it, right? But it's easier to whine, so cut that goddamn whining out. Remember when the, when the uh, uh, we can take it back to my great-grandmother. Shut all that goddamn crying up. Huh? Hush up. Things like that. It still apply as an adult, right? Don't be over there hanging with the wrong crowd. That still applies as an adult. If you hang with whiners, you're going to whine. If you hang with winners, you're going to win or you're going to go back to the whiners, right? So I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. I'm going to leave it right there for right now. <laughs> Life of a hustler. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yo. Every day I'm on the hustle like that's all I know. A nine to five or out the streets long as I'm touching dope. Ain't in a robin' full of pride. I'd rather get my own. That's how I've been since I wasn't young and then now I'm